Let us pray for the health and well-being of our members. Heavenly Father, we come to you and ask that you give Richard the grace and strength he needs as he continues his therapy. As we all know, the many awful side effects there is to it. We ask you to give him the extra strength he needs to get through this treatment as peacefully and as quickly as possible. Father, we ask that you please lay your holy hands of healing on him and take away all his pains, weakness, and fear that he may encounter while he is undergoing this treatment. Father, Lord, lift up his family, Jenny, and the children and give them the peace, love, and strength they require to help Richard in this testing journey of faith. Father Lord, we humbly pray for Gordon and John as Gordon goes through the cancer treatment. We also pray for all those who are fighting one illness or the other. Lord, give them the hope and courage they need each day. Comfort them in their pain and bless them with immediate healing as you help them to focus on you in this period of great suffering. Strengthen their families, friends, and caregivers. All this we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Prayer in response to easing of lockdown. Heavenly Father, we turn to you in prayer in response to the easing of the lockdown. We praise you as our mighty creator and sustainer. You are the author of our days, our refuge and strength. Lord, we humbly ask that you push back and remove this virus from among us. Glorify yourself in this national and global emergency in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Lord, we pray for those who have suffered loss of family and friends from this virus. Please comfort them. For those who are currently sick, we ask that you heal them. For those who are filled with fear and anxiety in the uncertainty of what to do, or who are still in isolation or shedding, we ask that you be their courage and that they would acknowledge your presence. Let them know that you are the God who never leaves or forsakes his people. For those who are not able to go to work and earn a living, Father Lord, we ask that you provide for their needs. Please connect them with those who can provide food and other resources to them. For those who are researching and responding to the pandemic, we ask that you pour out your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding upon them. For all hospital and care home staff, doctors, nurses, lab technicians, military personnel, and everyone who is at risk to exposure as they serve and care for those who are or may have been infected. Please, Lord, protect them and give them and their families peace as they serve. Help them to keep patients calm as they walk with faith in you. For those who are making decisions about easing out the lockdown, we ask that you guide them to consider what is best for the people and not profit, that they will trust you and make the safest decision for the population they serve. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray that this extraordinary time in our generation will be used to draw the world nearer to you. Let us continue to reflect and turn our attention to the many times we have thought or said we don't have time enough for God. Help us to continue to use this time to reset our relationship with you and our families. Deliver us from this virus and let your glory fill the whole earth as we believe that you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Prayer for wisdom in restarting church activities. Let us thank God for the lockdown that is easing out as we look forward to meeting again in church. Let us pray for wisdom on how to manage the logistics of meeting together with the guidelines 
and restrictions that came with it. Let us pray for our country and the world. Father Lord, we pray for United Kingdom and every nation of the world. We ask that you look down on us in pity and mercy. Forgive us for the way that we have turned our backs on you in so many ways and bring us back as a people who seek to follow the ways of justice and peace. Keep our land free from war and aggression, from winds and earths, earthquakes, from fear and confusion. We m- may we as a nation turn to you and call out to you in the day of our trouble. Let us pray that God will be close to all our leaders, including the ministers, and give them wisdom and discernment as they rule this nation. May the decisions that they make be wise. May they turn to you for your wisdom and your strength in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray that God will be with all those that are oppressed and downtrodden, especially those that do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. May there be many that come to you as their Savior in this world, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray that the gospel may one day be preached in this world, from sure to sure, openly and truthfully. Let us pray that God will help us from compromising his word of truth. Let us also pray that God will restore to this world the joy of his salvation and bring many to to our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Father Lord, as we face these uncertain times in our nation, we ask you, Lord, to dwell among us. We are comforted by the knowledge that you alone are our Lord and Savior and the ultimate master of life. We commit our nation into your loving care. Lord, send your spirit to touch the hearts of our leaders. Give them the wisdom to know what is right and the courage to do it. Give us also, Lord, your light and your truth to guide us in our ways so that we may seek your will in our lives Mm -hmm. and impart the the word around us for your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Lastly, let us say the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ taught his disciples as we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forevermore. Amen.